Hey buddy. How are you doing? Yeah. So hopefully he stays there and not uh, coming under the air seater here. We're gonna keep working here. We can't stop because of pets. We are getting back to work. I'm gonna be putting the disc scrapers on and uh, Greg's gonna keep going on these towers and uh, these guys are gonna keep going on the torching and getting the arms off. How far are you? We're I have three quarters of the way done on the whole drill. Three quarters of the way done. Save the spring. All right, we're gonna show you guys the best way to get these stuck pins out. Right now, when it doesn't move, you just start to heat it, right? Yeah. So this one's really stuck. Uh, we've torched the end off, as you can see, and sometimes we'll drive it that way, sometimes we'll drive it this way, whatever works to get it out. It's definitely hot in there, it's burning out all the rust. Now that we got all the arms torched off, it is finally time for assembly. So in order to efficiently install these discs, what we're doing is we're actually wedging something where this feeder tube goes to keep the scraper away from the disc so we can get it on the hub. And then set it on the uh, ring of the hub here. Grab a couple bolts. And then the impact, this mid torque on setting two tends to be the right torque we found for these bolts. Hit them till it dwells a little bit and then it's good. Now we're gonna put our strap to the gauge wheel on the shaft. Here's the bolt with the heavy washer. This one is setting three on this mid torque. Then we also check the torque with a torque wrench to hit it to about 150, which it's already there. There we go. What we're doing here is we are adding felt washers on the front three, and I think that's gonna do a good job of just being a dust shield to that inner seal. Here's our thrust washer, so to speak. It's a plastic washer. The arm is gonna be pushed that way or pulled that way by the closing wheel, and so we want it to be a wear surface and it doesn't, so it doesn't grind into this casting. Here's the other side. You can see this single lip seal, there's this spring bushing, belt seal, and the pin will push out once I install the arm. So let's see how this thing goes together. Don't forget to install the spring. Almost forget that every time. Then this is just a washer on this side. And then we've got a center lock nut. And then we hit her with the trusty Milwaukee M18 fuel impact mid torque. This is the newer mid torque. It gets pretty close to the 150, 160 foot pounds we're looking for. 
felt washers are hanging it up a little bit, but with the grease and a spring on there, it'll be good. I want to get the proper torque. There it is. All right, so a little deviation from the planned design. Those felt washers I drew in here to show as an option, but otherwise this pivot looking pretty good. Yeah. He's our friend, good farm dog. Man, you are soft. Did you just get a wash with conditioner? Oh yeah. Jesus. See you later. We've uh, all concluded he's exceptionally soft furred. That's a good quality to have. Maintains his hair, that's right. <laughs> I think it will. All right. Look at that. Like NASCAR. You should get one of these. <laughs> so while we uh, work on these pivots, Travis is gonna air up the tires. You know, this is a common thing on drills. Tires go flat or whatever. And uh, I heard we might get to use some ether today. So see how that goes. <laughs> Here. You got your air chuck? Safety first. <laughs> Safety first. Fingers are reattachable. Let's try it. Whoa! Ho, ho. Who needs air? <laughs> That's awesome! I'm impressed. Well, in this category, I'm a little unschooled. Oh no, it's 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 dropping. We better get some air in there. Nice. We got a couple more to do. I think there's two over there. And uh, then this drill is going to be movable. So what we're going to do is get everything aired up, get everything we can installed. And then we're going to back the tractor up as far as we can in this cold storage building, move this equipment, set the rows in the ground, and see where we need to space the closing wheels so that he gets the perfect closing on the furrow. <laughs> Right. We have come to the point of testing out the closing wheel position. We got some rows right there that are positioned in some different configurations and we are going to fold the wings in. Wow, look at that go. Oh, we got a pinch point. We got a pincher. Sheesh. No wonder that thing breaks. Oh. -ho. Holy cow, that's broken a few times. And you just saw why, that sucker drops hard. The other side's broken even worse. Anyway, back to what I was saying. We are going to back this thing up. You can see that it's gonna be a very fun job. It's like pushing a rope. You know what pushing a rope is like. Anyway, we're gonna test Travis's skill. I'm sure he's gonna do a good job at least once. And then we're gonna drop it down, pull it forward, and make some lines in the sand and see what happens. We got movement. All right, we finally got her ready to go forward. We got the lights on. It is showtime. So you can definitely tell that this is really pushing, pushing over. So that's the most aggressive. Yep. Yeah, this is way too aggressive. Yeah, them are too aggressive. Them, that is just not if you need the ultimate closing, there you go. Yeah. I really like it. It seems like you're away from the seed enough. This one, you're definitely you're in the trench more. We tried to measure real good in the shop when we're designing it. Yeah, we're gonna just finish bolting these all up and make sure that's ready to go. So when you show up in the morning, it'll all be ready to seed. We really appreciate your time, Travis. No problem, thank you very and, uh, much. And we'll stay in touch. We will, yeah. we will. This'll be good. Yeah, just chilling on this beautiful date night with my homies. We got Jordan over there. It's one homie. We got Greg up there. He's another. We got Garrett down here, and he's another. But we are in the middle of the machine. We just finished. Actually, we're just finishing. We met in the middle, sang that song already. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, we've got a message for you. If you've got a drill like this and all the pivots are stuck, don't call us. Actually, you could call us, and we will still try to fix it. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Keep up on all this fun content, all these adventures we do. But uh, I think this farmer is going to be really happy. We got a really sweet design here. Bearing pivots, closing wheels, the bearings in the arm, better closing wheel itself. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Out. It's a race to the finish, last two rows buried in the center of the machine. We're done. How am I going to get out of here? Woo! I don't fit. You got to crawl like a worm. No, like oh, I yeah, you, have to, you either got to go all the way back, all the way back or all the way this way. Here, I'll get out of your way so you can decide which way to go. I mean, I'll try to get out of your way. I can go out this way. I think I'm shoveling gravel in my back. Are you guys just going to watch me struggle? Yeah. I'm making it. All right. It's good to be skinny. Good job, guys. High fives. Woo! Good job, Greg. Now let's go home. It's uh, maybe about 2 o'clock by the time we get home. Oh, no. 2 o'clock.